All right, looks like it's working now. And just because we're going to go ahead and start a new game. I wish the load screens on this were shorter. <laughs> Go. It used to be a military base. Well, it used to be a ranching thing, then it was turned into an army thing, then it became a bird thing and a museum or whatever. Henry Fonda stationed here, I think, for a bit. Unless he was Navy. Who's Henry Fonda? Around Christmas time, this little breakfast place used to sell these amazing polar bear sugar cookies. Man, those were good. And then one year they changed the formula or whatever and ruined it. Alex? Hey, still with us? Oh, it's really pretty. You haven't said anything for like 10 minutes. Mm. Yeah, yeah, my... My mind drifted for a second. So you all moved in? Um, not... Not really. I just got in this morning. And how did her mom meet your dad exactly? <laughs> they met on vacation in Orlando. He got lost in a... You know, actually, I'm not even gonna tell this story. It's really not worth it. <laughs> okay. No, wait, what happened? I feel like I haven't heard this. He got lost in some gardens, and he thought she worked there, and blah, 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 they hit it off. Aw, uh, that's... Uh, who's the... Uh, who's driving this? That's Sea Captain Karen. She's doing us a favor. You'll notice we're the only ones doing the voyage. How you doing up there, Karen? Yeah, what's up with that? Does no one normally go there at night? Nobody really lives there, so no. And Karen's not gonna mind that we're spending the night. And you guys just met tonight? Yeah, I was, um... I'd been out of school, and the timing had just never worked out, so... And what does that make you to her, then? Hey, uh, second cousin? He's my stepbrother. <laughs> oh, yeah. I forgot that was even a thing. Well, at least you seem cool, right? Cool guy, cool head. You get a cool new sibling living right in your house. Sharing your toothbrush. Wearing your clothes. No, that's the weird part. I mean, isn't it like... The concept of just getting a new sister, like a puppy, isn't it kind of awkward? <laughs> no, it's been totally bizarre. But just for the record, I don't consider you a pet. Well, that's so, good. How do you two know each other? Oh, from way back when, like Paleozoic, grade school era. Young enough that I've seen her in a bathtub and it wasn't sexual at all. I mean, we both look like little skinned potato blocks. Ugh, it's so creepy now to think about. Why? We were babies. It's funny, that's all. Check under your seat to make sure you don't leave behind any grandchildren. Uh, wait, who's talking right now? It's a recording. They always play. Oh, oh, we should get a quick picture. All of us. This will be like the before shot. They're yeah, on the let's do it. And it's Jonas? Not Jonah? Yeah, Jonas. Like Jonas Salk? Right, patient zero, AIDS guy. Jonas. It means oppressor, right? Yeah, yeah. but I mean, my sign's cancer, and it's not like my hair's falling out or anything. Here's good. Come on, Al. There, great. I'll magic erase all the warts out and stuff, so don't worry. Hey, Alex, you brought the radio, right? The little portable one? 
Of course I brought the radio. Perfect. Can you pull it out a second? There's you say so. Guy. Our high school has a radio station, and Carly, she's a friend of ours. She's filling in because Reggie got mono from some track runner or something. It doesn't matter. What matters is that... Which I played because that song's been stuck in my head since I woke up this morning. But, oh, oh, actually, it's a little after 10 o'clock, which means my dear friend Ren and his buddies are probably just touching down on Edwards Island for the yearly bash on the beach, or whatever we call it now. But anyways, I promised him that I'd play a song from his band, so hope you're listening, Ren. Here are the red-headed bedwetters with baby carrots. <laughs> That's awesome. I hope Christina, great band with her talent show judge face, was listening. I think the boat just farted at us. We must be getting close. There's no radio reception on the island. I'm glad I got to hear it before it went totally kaput. If we can't use it, why'd you bring it? Not just for the boat. Um, no. You'll see. I don't expect too much, but nah, it'll be fun. I won't undercook it. You'll see. You talk so much. Smell that clean air, boys and girls. Boy and girl. This ain't city living. Yeah, um, anybody need a smoke? I have a full pack. Uh, oh, uh, no thanks. I mean, I literally just said the clean air thing, so... Alex, you can bum one off me if you're empty. I forget if you're a fellow addict. Yeah, sure. Really? Since when do you smoke? Last time you tried it, I thought you were gonna vomit on my shoes. Since now, that's when. Okay, just remember. Aim to throw up in the water. Here's the smoke if you want it. <coughs> you all right? What it was. They're filtered. Yeah, yeah, no, I'm in <clears throat> flavor country over here. Flavor country. All right, my other friend should be up and around the bend. Actually, that, I mean, I don't mean to be the guy to break us up already, but can I have like two real quick minutes with Alex for a second? And you can, you know, you can run up and meet your friends. Uh, really? Wait, is, is something wrong? What is it? Nothing's wrong, nothing's wrong. It'll just take two minutes, super fast. All right, but, <laughs> uh, look, I, I don't want to go up by myself. I mean, can't we just stick together? You're going to have all night to say, like, whatever. But since you want to meet up with your friends anyway... We're all going to meet up No, with it's... It's fine, Ren. Go yes, we need to hear what he has to say. Um, okay. I guess. Though this My is a really way to start off, splitting up. It'll be fast. Thanks, man. I'll just be up the hill in case. Whatever. In case. Ren seems nice. He's funny, you know? Reminds me of a guy I know back home. Yeah, I mean, he's harmless. But... Yeah, he's nice. Listen, I just wanted to grab you ahead of time and say you've been cool about everything. And I guess it's just for me, I, I, I've never moved anywhere. And like getting a new family at the same time kind of feels like I'm skipping the training wheels. And not that it's been bad or anything. You and your mom have been great. Uh, we'll make do. Lemons, lemonade, however that goes. An optimist. Oh, Christ. Oh, stop it. Oh, and thanks for setting up the attic for me. It's cool how it's like a little bedroom. I was in the basement at my old house. That was, um... That was Mike's room, actually. So, there wasn't that much to set up. Oh. Oh, man, I'm sorry. I didn't mean to bring it up. It's okay, you didn't know. It's... Nice at night, isn't it? <laughs> yeah. We can catch back up with Ren now. I didn't mean to take so long. Yeah, you did. It's kind of 
kitschy, right? It's kind of kitschy. Yeah, it's like a uh, quiche. I don't think he knows what kitschy means. Uh, I think they block this off at night since nobody needs to use it. Or maybe they just had a parade? Sure. Either one. Yep, night parade. That makes sense. Ah, oh, I forgot this was even here. It's a monument to some submarine that was sunk off the coast. Oh, do the the um the radio guide thing they talked about on the boat, you know? It's what? Like 102.3? Uh, okay. Sure. I oh. think they said it's 102.3. After the Hawaiian god of the sea, the USS Kanaloa was launched on January 15th, 1941 and commissioned into service at the end of that year. I've never heard of this before. Kind of creepy in a way, right? Yeah. I hate thinking about it. It reminds me of those scenes in movies where the sailors have to seal somebody up to drown or else the flooding will take the whole ship, you know? Yeah, no, I always thought submarine duty was like the worst possible war assignment. There's nowhere to go if something goes wrong. Named out... Parks and Facilities Office. Friend's sister Allison used to work there. You'd like her. She's tall. Um, alright. Damn, they close up early. I guess no point in staying open if nobody's here. Well, we're here. Maybe I want to buy an ornament or something. Hello, kids. Look, the other guys and gals must be further up, so be quick now. Okay, speed read definition of Edwards Island. This is a tourist trap with shops and a beach. Nobody lives here except for some geriatric named Mrs. Adler. But, as God is my witness, we'll never mention her or any other old person's name again. We are here to drink and be stupid, a tradition apparently started by board recruits in the 1950s who would sneak dates over from the coastal towns. They literally called it trawling. Uh, Wait, how'd they pull that? Isn't, like, security an important thing in military bases? Yes, but apparently the desire to have cheap sex with the beaten path officially ends here. The beach is past the fence. I think Jerry told me that there's a way that we used to get over there, but... I'm oh, that's a really pretty map. Huh. I'm blanking on what it was. But it's not... I mean, it can't be too difficult. Well, look. There must be something. I mean, if Jerry got over. Yeah, exactly. So, to summarize, we are not allowed here after dark. The town is shut down. And we, the Kamina High Junior Class, have come to commit improper acts. And the other thing that sounds like fun. is the weirdo caves. Weirdo caves? The whole reason Alex brought her radio is because when you go to the... It's like the front, the mouth, the mouth of this particular cave. You can sometimes pick up frequencies to stations that don't exist. You'll hear voices or just sounds, and they're impossible to get anywhere else on the island. Crazy, right? So back up a second. Who's Mrs. Adler? Her family, I think, like owns or owns some of the island or something. She's been shacked in the same spot for like 70 years. She's kind of what you call the local legend. She has a house on the other side of the woods. I think that's what I would call a hermit. Well, it takes a certain someone, and actually, you know what? Speaking of the opposite of those certain someones, drum roll please. Jonas, did you know that a little birdie told me that our Alex here is thinking of going out of state to college? Oh, really? Yeah, so don't get too used to her. Look, Alex, I just, if you are thinking of leaving, I just hope you're doing it for the right reasons. That's all. That's my whole spiel. What the hell does that mean? Nothing, nothing, nothing at all. Do what you want. Forget I said anything. Thank you. I will. Thanks so much for bringing me out, you guys. I can yeah, that wasn't you awkward. I'm gonna have a really good time. Ugh, I'm sorry. We'll stop. Yeah, this will be fun. Don't worry. Even if Alex is a listless drifter ruining her own life. Let's I do think this. the dumpster will get us over if it'll budge. Well, let's try it.
All right, heading to the cliffs. Oh, uh, before we get there, I should I should probably mention that. <laughs> oh God. Who's that? That's so. There's this girl, Nona. She's just this girl, and I'm totally into her, and I want her to be into me, so just, you know, j just be cool, okay? No pouting or complaining or anything, all right? Deal? Be cool? Don't be like, just how you can be sometimes. What does that oh, even mean? Okay. Jonas, now that we're dumpster buddies, what was the thing that you said to Alex back there? Do you have one of those vestigial tales or something? Uh, it was nothing. Just leave it alone, Re Reginald. I hear you over there. Hey, guys. Wait, I was saying... I was about to tell a story. What was it? About Brad's car. Oh, well, that can wait. Yeah, nobody cares about Brad's car. Hey, we started a fire down the way, but Nona wanted to play beach nanny, so... Uh, yeah. Everyone, this is Jonas. Jonas? Everyone. Hey. Hi. And Jonas, that's... Who are you again? Jonas. Jonas. He's Alex's new in town, fresh as a daisy stepbrother. Stepbrother? Really? Yeah, I know. It's a trip, right? Yeah, uh, this is his first night here, so everybody be on your best behavior. Treat him as you would a scary dog. Palms out. <laughs> That's, um, I don't bite. It's fine. Wait, wait, wait. wait. Sure You're he doesn't. Jonas. Jonas, the stepbrother. Yeah, um, what's your name again? That is Clarissa. How but are she's... you her stepbrother? Like, what does that even mean? Uh, My mom married his dad, so family, law, and all. Yeah, well, I guess this is happening now. This is a thing that is happening, so... <sighs> Where is everyone else? Nicole had that tennis thing. And? Uh, who else was supposed to come? Anyone? Everyone? Clarissa, we... <laughs> we took the last ferry. I thought more would show up, but... <laughs> oh my god, it's just Alex and her new stepbrother? <laughs> That's it. That's who you brought. That's uh, the... Come on, Clarissa. I'm fun. I'm hip. I'm with it. Listen to yourself. Wait, aren't you all, like, friends? I'm friends with Nona, and I'm downgrading Ren to, like, a creepy neighbor. And you I just met. <laughs> hey, what about me? What about you? Just never mind. You see, Jonas, normally this is like a 20-deep rager, but Pat had a party last weekend, and... And a bunch of kids got caught TPing the school. But this is great, right? We're on Edwards Island. Forget those losers who couldn't handle the weekend, who didn't think we could make it, who lost my invitation, who had to go Faster. on there. Their... We've been hearing about this for years, and now we're going to do it. This is going to be amazing, right? Right, guys? Yeah, the beach, island stuff. Yeah. Yeah. Man's great equalizer. So, what's the, um, what's the, like, thing to do here? Other than obviously go skinny dipping and get murdered by Jason Kruger. Well, I'm up for pretty much whatever, so. Hey, where does that old woman live? Oh, you mean Maggie Adler? Yeah. Nowhere. She's dead. What? Yep, killed over three days ago. It was all over the news. Local news, anyway. Oldest living resident. Hey, we could go see her house. It must be huge. She was rich as No, a we can't see her house. There's a giant fence, and I don't want to tear my jeans trying to climb it. And to answer your previous question, Jonas, the thing to do is lay on the beach and drink till you can't remember where you are. And sometimes play truth or slap. Yeah, let's play that. We can inaugurate Jonas. Ease him into the night's festivities. Isn't it a uh, truth or dare? This is better than truth or dare, because nobody ends up licking somebody's butthole. 
You get asked a question. You have to tell the truth, but if somebody can prove that you lied, the accuser gets to slap you. It's a good, uh, getting to know somebody game. Uh, how can you prove that somebody lied? Hearsay, rumor, conjecture, the usual. All right, let's just get on with it. Okay, so, first, we're gonna... I'll start. Ren. Uh-huh. Come on, fess up. You want to go out with Nona, right? Clarissa! Wait, wait, wait. I want to hear his answer. Oh, man. You're good at this. Well, if being good means being kind of mean about it. Look, it's tough to uh -huh. get. Uh, something like... Enough stalling. I know you want to sample the goods. Now no, just face it. I mean, I, I, I like her as a friend, right? That's... I just like her as a friend. That's, that's all. She's cool. She's... All right. Great. Let's just move on. Okay, it's Ren's turn, right? He gets to ask somebody something. Alex, Alex, Alex! <laughs> Uh-oh. Oh, please. Shoot, I can take it. Okay. Mary, screw, kill. Me, Nona, and Clarissa. Why? <laughs> it's fun. It's funny, I don't know. And Jonas is family now, technically. So he's excluded. Well, I'd marry Nona. I like the quiet types. I'm flattered, I think. <laughs> Okay, you're going down the line. Clarissa, obviously. <laughs> obviously. You're not gonna call her out on that? No, I believe her. I mean, look at me. And wait, wait, that means you kill me? Yep. I'm everyone here. You're best. Hey, you wanted to know. And I'm the only guy. This is Miss Andrea. Miss Andrea, I said. Okay, settle down. So, Alex's turn? Yep, lady's choice. Alex gets to pick who to ask something of. Oh, great. Here we go. What's your favorite stuffed animal? Professor Snodgrass? Clarissa. Oh, boy. Yes, Mum? This is pretty fun just watching. Do you like anyone? Like, like, like anyone? There's no one in school worth liking now. Come on. Ouch. So, no, I don't. But nice try. Clarissa's turn now. Alex, you got a new brother. Pretty exciting. I'm sure Jonas is excited, or maybe... Excited isn't the right word. Maybe a little overwhelmed with just everything, you know? Unsure. It's a lot to take in and adjust to. I'm What's your point, Clarissa? I'm just saying what Jonas is already thinking. That statistics show if you get divorced once, you're probably gonna get divorced again. And the fact is, your mom divorced your dad. So let's put his mind at ease and hear why. I, I don't, I don't really- What are you talking about? What is this even, what does this have to do with anything? Why'd your parents get a divorce? Just so Jonas can hear it from you. Clarissa, I don't really care why they got a divorce. Just that You know why. Michael died and it broke everything and they couldn't handle it. The end. Well, now you know, Jonas. Don't die and everything will be fine. Okay, Clarissa. You what? <laughs> you know, guys, honestly, I think I'm pretty much ready to do anything else besides this game. Wait, let's... Let's not stop like this. We should... Game's over, Ren. I won. And to celebrate, I'm gonna sit on the beach and drink, and maybe, if I'm feeling spicy, even take a nap. Maybe we could... And that's exactly what Nona's gonna do, too. Man, what is your problem, Clarissa? Just what did we... What did I do to make you act like I ate the last piece of chocolate cake on your flippin' birthday? Nothing, Alex. You did absolutely nothing. Cheese! If you guys in your scavenger hunt or playing Ring Around the Rosie happen to find anything more interesting than a slowly dying starfish, you be sure to just let me know. Super. Uh, if we find anything more interesting than that, I think we'll be too involved in our own fun to come get you. Well, wouldn't you know it, that's just fine by me. Well, I want to inaugurate this bitch by checking out the caves. Nona, want to come? Uh, I mean, I would. I'm very but... clingy, Ren. <sighs> Fine. What a bitch. Jonas, you're a strapping young lad. Help boost me over the fence. The cave's just, uh, yonder. And I guess you expect me to just jump over after? Well, like I said, you're a strapping young lad. Okay, come on. Where are you from again? It's a small town near North Valley. Oh, yeah. Is it nice? If you like bars on the windows. Alex, you want to check out the caves, or...? Yeah, let's do it. Boost me up? Yeah, come on. Come on, <laughs> I'll push you over. Oh, oh, I forgot. We never Whenever talked about you're ready. Oh, so, what, their date? the cave. What's your bets? On a scale of 1 to 10, how weird's it going to be? Hmm, probably a 5. 
Weird enough to remember, but not weird enough to tell anybody about it after. <laughs> All right. Hey, Chris seems to be her normal annoying self. Sorry about that. Eh, it's not your fault. I think somebody dumped pig's blood on her in a previous life, and now she just wants to get ahead of the curve. <laughs> yeah, probably. Thanks for, uh, not ratting me out to Nona during the, uh, the game. I didn't think you would, but, you know, you could've and you didn't, so thanks. Now, who's ready to have their minds blown? If you don't mean that literally, I am... Just get on with it. What do I do? Oh, wait. Actually, I almost forgot. Gonna take a little magic trip to Cupcake Town. Those look like brownies. Oh, you're the only one? Oh, absolutely <laughs> need one. <laughs> oh, no. These are just Aww. for me. I've been waiting a long time for this. Yeah, maybe it's best he's the test balloon for this anyway. Hmm. Delicious. Okay, so see these little piles of rocks? The kids before us always leave them here, so you know where to try and tune in the signals. So you're going to want to stand basically right around here. And just tune the dial left or right until you start hearing some weirdness. How will we know when it's... It's even cooler than I thought it would be. This is insane. How, how is this, how can this be possible? Maybe the tuning's like unblocking a weather balloon or something? Yeah, that's what it is. <laughs> it doesn't make any sense. Well, it's just crazy then, because I don't know. If you move around, it kind of changes too, I think. Like, over at this pile. Here, come over here and try it. Oh. <laughs> This is so cool. I know! Clarissa and Nona should see this, right? I mean, I know it's like weird with you guys or whatever for some reason, but they, they're fine where they are. Okay, just what is Clarissa's issue with you two? She dated Michael for five seconds like three years ago. It was for a couple of months a year and a half ago. <sighs> she should just seriously get over it already. Clarissa's the kind of person who doesn't feel full unless she's pissed at somebody, so... Whew. Brownies are kicking in. Did that make sense? You should have given me a brownie. Are you okay? I think so. Now, there's another cool spot, I think, over here. God, it sounds so... Yeah, it sounds... Uh... Something. Ooh, satanic. satanic. Not what I was gonna say, but close enough. Wait, what was that? Glowy thing. There's like, this is gonna sound stupid, but there's like something in here. Famous last words. Famous last. No, I see it too. I'm sure there is something in there, like a giant rabies-filled bat, or a maniac who wears mannequin wigs, or it kind of looks like a pool or something. Like a fresh water or something. Maybe. Let's check it out. It's not that far in. <laughs> oh boy. Uh, yeah, I have this thing about crawling into strange, dark, wet places that might cave in at any moment. It's not gonna. Come on, I can see it from here. It's not that far. We'll be in and out. <laughs> sure. <laughs> Fortune favors the bold. Dumbass. <laughs> Bye. Wait a minute, Jonas. Well, I am going to just rest against here. All right, let's go after him. I think, shh, I think I mismeasured the magic. Ah, uh, he's baked. Now it's been two hours since we got to the island. Where did he go? Jonas! Jonas! 
And he's gone. So much for a brother. And he's quick. I was like right behind him. Creepy dark cave. Get up there. She's really good at climbing walls. Now we get to climb down, I guess. And Jonas is gone. Jonas. Oh yeah, let's crawl through another tiny hole. That's a great idea. See a man about a dog. Uh. Sure, will do. Didn't you hear yeah. me calling for you? Jesus, you scared me. Oh, I scared you? You scared me. I had no idea where you were. I'm sorry for going ahead. I thought I thought I heard somebody down here, but Obviously, there isn't. But isn't this place incredible? I mean, I don't even know how this... how this happens. No, it's... Uh, it's beautiful. See? Uh -oh. That's what I heard. It sounds like a person almost, right? Kinda? I don't know where it's coming from. Maybe it is someone. You ever think of that? Maybe it's the crazy guy who lives here and he's gonna eat out our stomachs. <laughs> yep, that's what's gonna <laughs> happen. In which of these tiny air holes does he hibernate? <sighs> there was a light in here somewhere. I still want to see what made it. It must just be further in. Well, seeing as how I crawled in here to get you. Yeah. That's the most of it. Yeah, and I mean, look, if it's cool, we can get the others. And if it's not, we'll just leave. Or, uh, you know. <coughs> Oh, well, nothing crazy on the radio. <coughs> oh, it's getting dark again. Crystal room. Like, what is this made out of? Is it ice? I don't know. Pockets of it are cold, but not all of it. What? Wow, how is that? Did, did you see the floating, um, triangle light thing? Um, yes. It, it yeah, I do. Like a, like a rainbow or like a reflection of light? Those, um, exist, right? Um, cave triangle rainbows? <laughs> uh, maybe? Until last week, I hadn't heard about parrotfish either, so I guess anything's possible. It's a parrot fish. When you tuned in those weird signals out there, and the um, what am I trying to say? I, I think that you tuned in this little guy somehow. I think it's all the same thing. Really? You think? Definitely. Try your radio. Maybe that's like a frequency or something. Like if it'll have an effect. Yeah, good idea. Maybe it'll dance or twitch or something. Or kill us all. Let's do it. Come on. Radio time. Oh my god. Is this... Are you... Is this... You? Are you Whoa. doing this? Should... Should I stop? 
No, this is awesome. Uh-uh. <laughs> I can't even, like, what is, what? This is, it, what? Oh, it's about to go down. Where is it? Oh, there it is. craziness going on here. a very good question look I'm just gonna cut to the whatever like I don't know exactly what happened back there but the sign says that's an old communications tower and I don't know about you but I want to climb that ladder call somebody and get the hell back home as fast as possible I don't want to be the party pooper here but the party just kind of can't leave without my friends okay you're <sighs> Ren sure but does that list really include Clarissa not I'm really not saying leave her but I just want to get this whole escape thing moving. Well, maybe not Clarissa, but the rest we have to find uh. up first. Okay, okay. Oh, enough for nothing. I'm fine with a little deep pantsing or whatever if the weather's right for it. But if this is some sort of prank or mm -hmm. trick, I'm really, really not in the mood. Jonas, believe me, I wouldn't do that to you. I'm not that cruel. <sighs> Okay, well, I hope so. Well, I don't know, Just I might be. Fingers the comm tower as a working walkie-talkie or something. It probably isn't. Any equipment it'll have will be like 80 years old. I don't know if I trust that. Even if it doesn't work, maybe we can get reception on our phones or something. But it's right here, and I want to try it. After I try this fence. Uh, don't touch that, please. I really Fine. I'm telling your mom that you're dead. Have you ever had a moment where you're standing on a ledge and just just want to just jump off and just see what it's like no hardened tower oh it's called that i think because the radio man who watched it he was major richard harden I don't know why I remember that. <laughs> Wait, the guy's name was Major Dick Harden? Uh-huh. <laughs> <laughs> yep. It almost makes the whole trip worth it, doesn't it? I wouldn't go that far. Um, 
This is a lot of tower. Get up there. We're never gonna get all the way there. I can see the cave, but not Ren or anybody. What do you think happened to them? Probably heard all the noise and ran off instead of trying to come help us. Great. I guess we'll try the door first. Oh, yeah, I forgot I had a map. Nothing, right? Yep. <sighs> it's locked. Let me try. Oh, after you. Oh, why, thank you. What are you even doing? Just have a little faith. See? Oh my, and me without my camera. Oh God, shut up. <laughs> How does this thing... Warning, do not use aboard ship unsafe radiation limits. You know, awesome. I'd normally find this stuff kind of interesting, really. You know, normally. Thanks, I guess. Yes. Fence should be off now. Great, but um, don't take offense if I want to throw a stick at it first. Come on, don't you trust me? The light nope. turned off. I trust you to, like, not hurt me on purpose or anything, but, you know, if the fence kills me on accident, it's not really about trust at that point. <laughs> <laughs> is, um, is anyone there? Hmm. It's, it's That's not good. Dead. Did you get anyone? I think someone Something. Was I don't know. There's a dial tone, but there's a note here. Does not call out. Please dial station code for service. There wouldn't happen to be a code there, would there? Nope. Yep, that's about right. Das, Jesus. Well, that's not terrifying. Uh oh. Communications tower. Alex? Alex? Is that you? Ren? Oh, Jesus, Hobbit Christ. Thank Vishnu. I, you guys went into that hole and a what? bunch of stuff. I have no idea what happened. I just woke up like 15 minutes ago. I, I saw the light on in the, uh, the tower thing. Hey, did you know that it's named after some guy named Dick Harden? <laughs> Ren, how are you calling us? Phones don't work here. It's it's a code written on this list here. But it's not a normal phone. I can't call out. I'm at uh, the way station or whatever in the woods. It's been like, like just the worst thing ever. Just Why? How did you get all the way out there? Did you just take off sprinting when I went after Jonas? No, like I said, I must have like passed out or I don't know how I ended up here. Wait, Wait. I, I, I think that's the other line. Maybe it's like a night watchman or something. Wait, friend, some someone's calling on the other line. Just hold on a minute. I'm gonna see who it is. Okay, but make it quick, seriously. Hello? Oh, Jesus Christ, Alex? Why are you answering it? This, it says it's an emergency line. Where are you right now? Clarissa? And Jonas is okay, with- Okay, look, Clarissa. Ren's on the other line and sounding like he's about a stub toe away from a total collapse, so if you're at least holding it together, Wait, wait, then... wait, I... I'm at Fort Milner, and I can't... I don't remember, like, the last hour, and it's, like, really scaring the crap out of me. 
I'm trying to call somebody, but I'm in a room with radio stuff that can... It says it can contact Kamina, but I don't... I have no idea how to make it work. Can you just come over here and figure this out with me? I don't care if you guys want to... Look, Clarissa, just... You have a radio. Work it out for yourself. Ren needs my help. Wait, Alex. Ren? Just pick me up, okay? Just come and pick me up. I'm really... Not great. Look, Alex, just... Whatever you do, this is vitally important now. Heed the words. Heed these words. Just whatever you do, don't... And it dies, ladies and gentlemen. Clarissa, you still there? She hung up too, of course. So, want to truck over to Milner first, see about that radio? I mean, Clarissa can be a handful, but gotta take the bitter with the sweet. Ren sounded kind of more out of sorts than usual. I don't know. Look, I'm gonna leave it up to you. We can swing through the forest and nab Ren, or we can go to the for forest. Forest is out to the left. Hmm. We should probably hit the forest first. And see what Clarissa's up to. They're your people. You can decide. Forget Clarissa. And he'd kill me if he knew we went to see Clarissa first. Sound logic. Got you. All right, our rescuing duties have officially commenced. Let's get this done and get off this rock like the badasses we are. Yeah, righteous. No zip lines or nothing. Sure isn't. It sure isn't Far Cry. This tower is so tall. You know what? Groovy. SOS of some sort. Alright, guess there's nothing on there. The music change is a little concerning. And the fence kills me anyways. Yeah. So that's gonna drop me down there. I should just go to the left. End up where I wanna go. creepy so just curious but um what's your running theory well you played with the radio a triangle came out the triangle talked hung out a little then drowned us but not and now we're here well, that's that's about right yeah okay but what does it all mean that's between you and your priest huh that's helpful Jonas go to the woods How bad could it be? Oh, 
pretty. I um didn't realize just how much woods there were. This is like a like a genuine forest. Yeah, it's like what, 20 square miles or something? It's like half the island. Yeah, I thought it was just going to be a park or something. There is a park, but it's part of the woods. But I just want to make sure, you know, that we know where we're going. Um we vaguely No you know, clue at all. This whole place really creepily reminds me of a park or woods, I guess, near where I used to live. It's really kind of felt just like this. Oh, yeah? What was that one called? Peabody, I think. I'm trying to remember the sign, but like half the letters had fallen off, so it spelled pea pork. My dad was really happy to move here, you know? He said the schools were safer, less night. Oh, Jesus, what are you doing jumping across that? There's another, there's like another way down here. Look, Jonas, I do like a million jumping jacks a day. This is nothing. Oh, I didn't realize. Sorry. <coughs> I think I'm going the right direction. Maybe? Sure. Bridge stand. Is that the right place? Yeah. Getting there. see here I need to go up 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 somehow wow why is there a cable car here couldn't they have just made, like, just like a normal bridge? Yeah, it's kind of neat, right? It's like going on a gondola ride. I don't know if I'd say it's neat. It looks less than welcoming. Or at least it doesn't look very inviting. Look, it's a little scary, but Ren needs us, so... Yeah, yeah, I know, I know. All right, well, let's just see if we got to take the, um, conveyor thing. It's been running here since the invention of ovens. <laughs> Huh. Well, first, I want to look at this house now. Power Transfer Station 167. Okay, that's a little strange. Why wouldn't they lock it? I mean, somebody should have locked it, right? I don't know. Monsters? Just monsters? That's your answer? It might be monsters. Being terrorized on an island by unseen forces really makes you miss television. Well, maybe if we get the power working, you can catch up on the soaps. I found the circuit breaker. Wait, like the oh. first thing it says is beware of overload. Do not attempt restart without supervision. Um, so I don't know. I'll be fine. Just say what I need to do. Just let me do it. That way, if something bad happens... That's very sweet. Really, but I'm not the type of sister you need to throw your coat on the puddle for, okay? Okay. It's your barbecue. 
If you're gonna pull it, you might as well do it now. It's the switch. Yeah, I thought that would be a problem. Hey, we um need power, right? Uh, what did you flip? Cause it kind of did the opposite of what we wanted. Hey, don't play the blame game here. I did what it said. There's only one switch. Okay, okay. The lamp's flickering. Do you think it's like on backup power now or something? Yeah, that's what it is. It sounds like it's emitting some weird noise too, right? Yeah, a little. For some reason it reminds me of the cave. Let's just try to get the power on, all right? Everything about this is making my skin crawl. Uh, any ideas? The, uh, light kind of reminds me of that triangle thing. I don't know why. Maybe it's a transmission or something. Other than that, I don't know. Hop up and down and cry about our bad luck. That sounds like a plan. Huh. Well, that can't that's, have been good. That's... God, I haven't heard this in forever. This is something my mom used to... I am so tired of this funhouse bullcrap. All right. Was that there before? I'm uh, pretty sure it wasn't. I don't think so. Alex, are you all right? Alex! Uh. <laughs> Not funny. Not funny. Opposite. Total opposite of funny. Look up. Whatever that is, unfunny. Nothing? Oh, okay. Now where are we? It says it's the, I don't know, Catbird Station? And the call sign is weird. 60.8? The dial doesn't go that far. Huh. So, I can't open the door? Back down we go. <sighs> what a night. Huh? Huh? Yeah, tonight's not exactly what I expected. Um, what does that mean? You said, what a night. I was just... I'm just saying, this this isn't anybody's fault, you know. It just happened. Stuff happened. Yeah, you're right. Stuff happens. It just sucks that we'll be all the right. stuff that's happening is, like, really terrifying and annoying. Mm-hmm.
humming like a barracuda. Barracudas don't hum. Well, this one is. Praise the Lord. Yeah, this seems like a good plan. It didn't collapse. That's one good thing that happened tonight. Like magic. You used to come here a lot as a kid, right? To the island. I mean, I mean that's yeah. Where... With my brother. With Michael? Yeah. Like with your mom and dad, or? Sometimes mom and dad, but mostly just him and me. Oh, that's cool. Like he's like he'd be babysitting you, and he'd bring you out here. That's nice of him. Could have just stayed home, you know. It wasn't like that. We were like best friends. It's not like he was being forced to do it. He wanted to do it. We liked hanging out together. Oh, I mean, I didn't mean. Yeah, yeah, of course. Some people camp here, but. It's weird. I, I don't know why they just leave their tent. Looks kind of dumpy. Like, I don't know, like it's been abandoned. Yeah, I can see this place being cool like in the summer or even in the spring. You got the park, you got the main street shops. Yeah, well, after tonight, douse it in gasoline and light a match. I am never coming back here again. You used to come here a lot as a kid, right? What? I mean, I mean, that's what Ren made it sound like. You... Didn't you already say that? Did I? Okay, yeah, tonight's like being trapped in a nightmare suit. But, I don't know, you have memories here, right? Jumping off the diving board with little Janie and eating ice cream with little Franklin. String Whose life are you talking about right now? All I'm saying is, before tonight, this was a pretty cool place. And you did stuff here, and it's a part of you, you know? It's a part of you. And I just wouldn't want our first night out to... I don't know, think that's Jonas. ...wreck all of that. For, like, forever. I just wouldn't want that. I well, it is wrecked, Jonas. Sorry, Island, but you can't repeatedly scare the crap out of someone and expect them to continue thinking fondly of you. Well, now I just feel bad for the Island. You should. Huh. Wait, wasn't this... <sighs> we passed this a minute ago, right? And it wasn't burning? I, um, honestly don't remember. Interesting. You used to come here a lot as a kid, right? To the island. I mean, I mean, that's what Ren made it sound like. Something is... something's wrong. We've oh, yeah. done this, like, twice. Done what? Because I don't remember any of this. Jonas, seriously? You don't remember? You keep asking me if I came here as a kid a lot. Again and again. Um, okay. I mean, if you say so, but... I, I don't even know what you're saying. What are you saying? <sighs> Are we lost? Or is it something else? Whatever we did or opened in the cave must have, like, screwed up something or... I don't know. I don't want to say, like, time, because that sounds insane. Well, it's more than a little troubling that I can't tell besides a uh, headache I've only just noticed, but okay, let's deal with this now, sure. This is, uh, new. 
Aw, oh, it's... it's kind of weird. I had the exact same kind when I was a kid. Yeah, why would a toy company make two, right? Uh... I love the jokes. Keep it up. See what happens. Take that, ball. Um... What? what? So, it's just... I'm taking a picture of the ball moving, not your kicking, just so you know. Uh, okay, I'd, I'd like to know where this is going. Uh, okay, I'd, I'd like to know where this is going. Maybe don't antagonize. Uh, alright, let's not, um, make it weird now, radio people. I think they have a sense of humor. Oh, what's that? Don't want to play anymore? Weird. <laughs> Oof. Oh my god. <sighs> my doctor's not going to be happy with my blood pressure this year. Yeah, mine neither. Alex, I think we're dealing with ghosts. Just a hunch. Oh, yeah. What tipped you off? The messages, <laughs> the ball, or maybe it was the ghost. The ghost that just burned itself into the rock? Yeah, that. Oh my god, again? Again? Really? But, ugh, fine. No, there's no Jonas. Was he ever even there? Whoa, wait, what what's happening? Tell Michael to stay with Clarissa. They like each other a lot. But Michael's dead how could i even wait wait we've done this before what we're still stuck but i kicked the stupid ball and everything what more do you want it's all right we must have just missed um something are you can you kind of remember more now it's starting to stick yeah i mean it's still sort of foggy but whatever i'll deal with it all right, let's do that again then, I guess. Oh, that's new. Huh, this look it's like super old, but man, it's almost spotless. It's one of those, um... You know, I didn't realize I felt like a pressure in my head until right now. Maybe doing that fixed the loop. Yeah, but making it sound right did what? I... I don't know, but it's like my allergies cleared up or something. Let's just keep going and get Ren. Oh, I finally get to go now, huh? hope they want to like play soccer every once in a while and that's it
No, get off the wall. Oh my god. on a school trip once. You don't care, do you? No, please, keep going. Okay, on another school trip, they- Stop. Okay? Don't come anywhere near me. No, no. Just don't. What is it? What's wrong? This night has turned banana bread really fast. And I'm seeing things and forgetting things. And I bumped into you once already. And it was horrible. So... We haven't... It, this is the first time we've seen you since the beach. Be that as it may. I've seen an Alex. So, just look. You're not gonna talk about my grandfather. You're just gonna stand there, politely, and tell me if you've seen Clarissa. Cause I've been looking. Clarissa's No, no we haven't. But we, uh, we're actually, we're looking for Ren right now. So have you, have you maybe seen him? No, not Ren. Okay, well... Hey, listen, Nona. You should come with us. That way we're not all, you know, separated. I'm not going anywhere with you. All right, okay, hey, I get it, I do. I'm just hold up a second, Nona, okay? Yeah, can you just do us a favor? Can you just, can you go to the comm tower and wait for us? We got the lights on there, and it seems pretty safe. Yeah, that's actually, that's a good idea. Go to the comm tower and just sit tight till we get back. And the comm tower is where? It's the cloud buster at the edge of town. Can't miss it. And you. You're really you? Really? Yeah, no, no, it's me, Alex. All right, bye. Probably. That girl's a peach. Just for me, I want to know. Back at the bridge, why'd you flip the switch yourself? You could have let me do it. I'm just curious. Uh, I just wanted to see what would happen, to be honest. All right. Okay, that must be the way station. And actually, help me understand, why would an island need anything like that anyway? Like, nobody's going anywhere. Doesn't the whole- Um, this was a, a mining island before the war. And the land. You know, as you can tell, it wasn't really conducive to most different ways of transport, so they dug into the hills and laid down tracks and carted the coal by freight to the, um, the pier for the boats. Can I ask you something? <laughs> yeah, of course. You think I'm kind of a slacker idiot, right? Like, I wouldn't find any of this stuff interesting? What does it even matter? Wow, you think I'm an idiot. I didn't say that! <laughs> he didn't say anything. There's all the evidence I need. 
Huh. I think I remember reading that this well is supposed to be the first thing ever um, built or whatever on the island back in the 1600s. It doesn't have a sign or anything. It uh, used to, I think. Hmm. Oh man, thank God. I thought you were a werewolf. Why would we be a werewolf? Oh, I... Every ten feet's been a horrifying ordeal the entire way here, so you're lucky we made it. And I am grateful. I wouldn't have made it to the comm tower, okay? Trust me, I get lost in houses when there's more than two bathrooms. Do you have, like, any idea what's going on? Okay, that must uh -oh. be the way station. And actually, help me understand, why would an island need anything like that anyway? Ugh, Jonas, we're repeating the same stuff again. We are? Oh, it's kind of weird that you can tell when it's happening and I can't, right? I mean, it's not like... I mean, I'm glad someone can tell, but it's just strange. There's your boy. Hey, Ren! We made it, finally. Um, Ren? Ren, come on. What's the matter? What's he doing? Is he, like, sleepwalking? I don't know how he, like, fell asleep during all this. I've seen sleepwalking, okay? Michael sleepwalked, and the worst he'd do is take his pillow into the hallway. This is, like, something else. Ren? Are you in there? Come on, pal. The neighbors are here and they want to borrow some sugar. This isn't a guy on drugs. Not that I want to, like, alarm you. Yeah, I don't want to say the word possession here, but... But what? But I don't know how to finish that sentence. time we got stuck, we used one of these things to get out of it, so I'm not just messing around right now. Yeah, I remember, I remember. Kind of. Hey, where'd Ren go? He what? Was standing right there. Ren, are you still here? Ren must have used this to call us. Oh, it looks smashed. Hmm. shouldn't um go near him Ren can you can you hear me I mean I know they say don't move somebody with a spine injury but it's like we got to do something right yeah um any thoughts on what we could do if I did have any thoughts on what would solve this wouldn't that be a little weird Whoa, is this... Is that helping? It's doing something. 
thing, but... It's all I can think of to do. Um... Ren, are, are you... Oh, God. What? Feels stretched. Better. No. What are you? In between. Fastened. Loose. Rounded. But do not be stood. Our dolls would never plot. Hurt you. Can't not hurt you. Can you help us? We're we're stuck here and we just want to go home. Home. Kamina. We will go home. All of us. Leave. Possible. Uh maybe? I don't really... Grounded. By Adler. So, uh, Margaret. Pretty. Little. Poppy. Maggie Adler. That old woman? What, what does she have to do with it? That old woman was... Young. Once. We were... Young. Once. Sit. Still. You guys, God, Whoa. Ren. Man. Ren, Jesus, are, are you all right? Yeah, just give me a second. Give me a week. Why? Why is this? Why? Actually, thanks for coming, by the way. Sure. Why is this happening? I mean, I've been here. I visited this place like 15 times. The island's haunted, Ren. Like haunted with memories or elevators on their period haunted? The second one. Guys, anyone? Is this thing working? If Don't anyone can hear this, out there, in a, whatever, I, I'm at the comm tower on Edwards Island. Hey, she listened to us. Great. So, if anyone can, what is this? I, I'm trying to communicate with the... Does she know how to even work that stuff? Ugh, can't, like, anyone work a two-way radio? Didn't everyone have that, like, one trucker uncle who let them work the CB a few times for fun? Guess not. So... Are we going back to the comm tower for Nona, or...? Uh, we should round up Clarissa at Fort Milner first. Look, we'll split up. You guys do that, and I can go tend to the lovely damsel distressed in the old tower. I wish you wouldn't put it that way, but... Just keep it in your pants, okay? No promises! Actually, wait. That kind of sounds like I'm gonna force myself on her. Yeah, I was just gonna say... All right, well, guess we're going that away, so... We'll see you at the comm tower. Hopefully with Clarissa. Good luck! <laughs> right back at ya. Milner Ho? Ho. Oh.